Hey everyone, this is Phil Rumley. Just wanted to give you a little bit of insight, both before the match and shot by shot as we follow along. So beforehand, I know that we're playing Juniper Falls back nine, so I had to campaign, play through the nine holes two or three times, and then play each hole five or six times. Now that sounds a little tedious, but it gives me seven, eight, nine different looks at each hole, but more about that later. High loft driver, maniacs, high T, little unnecessary slurve around the mountain center of the fairway. Can also go the three wood a la Luna right here. Either one of those clears easily, especially with this 10 mile an hour wind pushing you. So I saw this exact look right before this in campaign. So I knew full well exactly when I wanted to hit Luna with a good shot here, just a touch long. So I tried to be as aggressive as possible. Added 4% for the elevation. Let it hit, roll towards the hole, points. And I was pretty happy about that shot. Generally, I'm a really aggressive player. You'll see me nine times out of 10 playing a javelin into each hole. And that other one time, is either a sniper or an orbit. But again, foreshadowing, we'll talk about that later. Clean up the putt, bing bang, move on. Moving to 11, this hole, 11, because of the extreme downhill and the fact that I always play it with a wood going in, you gotta overcorrect for the wind and overcorrect because, because of that super downhill, basically turns the javelin into a grabber and it comes back. The goal is to land just past the hole, let it roll back. I like Luna's line and percent a whole lot better. And that's perfect. Points right there. That's the exact shot you want to hit. That's kind of what I was going for. But I just went 96 and didn't play quite enough wind. Good shot by Luna. As we see it again. Simple putt, make it here, easy putt, moving on. Now hole 12, I knew the high loft driver with, with the javelin would not have the distance, but I just wanted to put it up there. This is one of those times that I did not get super aggressive. I was just really happy that the pin wasn't tucked left or down in that little nook down in the front where I had to make some extreme shot. So just put it up there, run away with your eagle, call it a day, move on. Moving on to the par five 13th, 99% of the time, this is the shot you wanna hit right here. Javelin into the flower bed, just give yourself a shot over to the green. Luna with almost the exact same shot as myself. So like I said before, 99% of the time I'm javelin into the hole, don't like using grabbers. But I didn't want to mess with this. I didn't like the pin, I didn't like the wind. So just throw it up there, let that grabber come back a little bit. Rolls back towards the hole. Easy eagle. Move on. I think Luna was feeling the same thing. Just get out of here. Hope for 14. Then we see this. And I knew that I wasn't going to be aggressive here. Because if you hit anywhere to the right, you're going in that bunker. So again, one of the very few times that I'm not super aggressive going forward. Just hit it 99%, let it run up there a tiny bit. Easy birdie. See ya, bye-bye. Hole 15. So too many times have I gotten some strange bounce, and I'm sure you have too, 
where it kicks your way left or it kicks your way right into the sand and then you don't have any sort of a, a chance to go after it on the second shot. Now I like Luna's drive a whole lot better. He went 100, I went 98. And then I had this into the hole. Talk about an absolute heart attack. As Soon as I hit the shot, I knew it was in the water. And then the bounce happened, and then I knew it was in the hole. And then it wound up being points. Just talk about two heart attacks in three milliseconds. So it ended up working out well, but I'd taken that shot a thousand times, so I'd seen it before. I just played a little too aggressive. I like Luna's shot a whole heck of a lot better, and frankly, I dodged all the bullets right there that he didn't make that. Good stinger attempt from Luna. Easy putt, kick it in. Move on to the 16th. So I always on this hole will play the high T javelin. Because with that maniacs, again, like I said on the last hole, you never know, you get some crazy bounce. Goes all the way to the left, goes right. I know with the javelin exactly where it's going to land. And I do that every time on this hole. Very similar to what I did uh, on Rocky 16 the day before against Barrett. So again, here using a grabber. I use more grabbers in this than I do in a week. But I didn't, I didn't want to mess with this. Just want to land it a little past. Let it roll down a bit. Get that easy, guaranteed eagle. And move on. Really good shot by Luna. Cutting a little bit of that wind. Almost straight downhill. Simple, easy, short putt, move on to 17. So here's the foreshadowing from earlier. Never in my seven, eight, nine looks did I see something that short. Should have gone 93%, would have been not right in the hole, hit, hit it just a little past. Again, I like Luna shot a whole heck of a lot better. Now, he swiped a little bit to the right. I don't know if that was a misswipe or intentional, but that's what gave him the points. Perfect shot by Luna. 97%. Maybe it goes in. Who knows? Great shot here. I wish I would have done that, but I was just trying to park it on top of the hole, try and get some points myself. I just hit it a hair strong. Perfect shot. Love that shot. Tried to miss this putt. Barely leaked in the right. But I got it. So that worked. And again, moving on to 18. Didn't see this look, not even once. So I thought to myself, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to get as aggressive as humanly possible. I'm going to hit hit that six wood maniacs and just hope for the best. I, I play these in these matches in six, seven minutes usually. I looked at that shot for three minutes probably because I was going to take that shot and I knew I would miss this putt. I knew it was going to be a long putt. Uh, my heart broke when I saw this from Luna. I put it in for the clean 14. A little bit of points and it turned out to be enough. Shout out to Luna. Incredible round. Really, really incredible player and I hope that he makes it. Thanks for listening.